Um, first Ward City Councilman Eric Mays. Um, e R I C, last name M A Y S. And Mr. Mays, tell me what transpired last night. Uh, after the council meeting, we went to a place like this, Roots. We were eating chicken and um, papaya juice. And I'm playing Club Kino, which I like to play. And Neely's one of his appointees, Mr. Murdoch. I mean, this happened each time I see him out. He telling me that they from the streets and he touches me. And last night, you know, hit my cheek. I'm like, man, you don't touch my face. What does this mean from the streets? But you know, we talk and laugh. You research it. You'll see I'm cracking jokes on him, telling the hell with him and Neely and him. And I need to subpoena Neely him. And you know, next thing I know, it turned more serious after he had been doing my face like this, saying that they was from the streets, whoever they was. I told him, don't touch my face and talked about it in a certain way. And they thinking he was. I was not. I had papaya juice and the six people who was with me who had came from the council meeting, they were eating chicken and well, a couple of women might have had a glass of wine. I was more interested in Club Kino and that's what I was playing. And so it caught me totally off guard when he swung at me and then charged me and I was down on the ground and my pelvic and cuts and numb neck and he had me down I have to admit I wasn't able to do that I'm 62 years old he caught me off guard I ain't experienced no violence physical violence in um, politics and 40 years of being here in it. Um, the closest thing I had was Abel snatch the bullhorn out of my mouth during the water protest. But to be getting hit and beat like that, um, that's not, I can't tolerate that. So what was Zero the tolerance. What was the conversation like before the altercation? What led to that? They're talking about them subpoenas with Gleason and Neely and how they can't interfere with an election and that um, Neely, you know, should be out based upon the unlawful interference. And um, I think that's what he won't left alone. But I'm telling you, caught me off guard. And so you said you were hostile. Can you want me to move it up? Yeah, just hitting the shirt. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see. There you go, yeah. Okay. So tell me this. No, I went to emergency, and I was out there from whatever time of the incident once we made the police report and the police came. I called the police. It's a 911 tape where I'm tripping. I mean, I had never experienced this, and this was a violent act. And I'm here to tell you. So I was so I'm still sore now, and they got me some prescriptions. But, but I was out there when I got home. It was about 5:15, 5:30, so about 4 something. I don't know how long I was out there, and I speeded that up by trying to leave, you know. But I I had to check in because I got a hernia, and I didn't know what was ruptured. It was some blood in my urine, but that was a hard takedown. Um, so what exactly happened? You were, y'all were sitting next to each other, y'all were standing up. Tell me exactly what happened. Yeah, at Roots, the owner, manager, Derek Collins, he sits there, everybody know where he sits. And then Mr. Murdoch sits there. I understand Neely and them, and they frequent that maybe more than I do, but I go in there, we know who, and I'm standing right by the next chair. And so the whole time when he was doing my face, saying, um, you know, we from the streets, that was the original assault. And then people focusing on the next one, 
where I'm letting him know in no uncertain terms. <laughs> you don't touch my face. I'm the councilman. Don't be touching my face. But I'm thinking from the way I know him over the years and know Neely and him, I'm thinking nothing about violence. We talking, we panning, we communicate, people laughing. I got them laughing at him and Neely and him. I'm talking stuff. But then when he doing that and he talking, then I'm peppering it up. I called him the B word. Oh, don't call me that. I said it again on purpose and that's when the assault happened because he didn't want to be called a B. So what did he do? He punched you in the face? Or you, I mean, is it your yeah, he tried to punch. I got out the way and then he charged and took me down. And then I'm down and he on my back just steady hitting because I'm protecting my sensitive area. I'm not in good health. In my opinion. And what do you think about the mayor's office? They released a statement. I'm sure you've read it. No, I have not. It kind of says that, you know, Mr. Murdoch was, you know, he was by himself when he was approached by you. Um, what do you have to say to them saying that you kind of have, you know, started this whole altercation? Well, I can't say who said what, but verbal is one thing. And when it rises to the level of an assault and a touching and an assault, that's a whole different ballgame. This has happened similar where Mr. Murdoch has put hands on me. It happened at Empire. As soon as I walk in the door, he come up. Hey, you know, we from the street. I'm thinking people playing. I believe now he is from the street because I'm in 40 years of politics, nothing physical. I ain't had a fight since 11th grade. That's 40 years ago in high school. Anybody who tells me they from the street and then go to talking and talking about me and all that and we talk and we call it pan and I thought I never knew it would rise to the level of physical violence. And this was a violent act because once he swung and charged me for me calling him a beast, then, and you know what I mean by B. I'm just trying to be polite for the audience. Then that's what, that was the act. And so then I was taken down and constantly beat. And so until the bouncers <laughs> got him off of me, I was wondering where they was. But I'm proud I protected my face, and I'm proud I protected certain areas that I'm concerned about. And so well, that's a blessing. The the they took x-rays um, of my pelvic area, which the sore is now at bone. And then they took yeah, x-rays of back here in the neck. And then they had me do a urine sample. And they said it was slight blood in the urine. And if it, you know, flares up over the next couple of days, it immediately come back. And then they gave me prescription for pain. I call the police. And you can hear my tone of voice if you pull the 911 tape because I'm livid. I'm cussing. Ain't nobody hit me for no politics. This is unprecedented. And this is coming from a guy who keeps telling me when I see him out that we are from the street. Who is we? You work for Neely. I'm telling them, go on with that. You know, I cuss. Y'all don't see me cussing on camera, but I cuss. And I'm telling him, don't be touching my face, who is we. But I'm also... And then so, you did it again, like you said, and then he charged at you. Yeah, see, he, he was by me in the chair, and I'm by him, so we back and forth. But the touching and the hitting is what threw it off guard. If you was to talk to the manager owner, Derek Collins, I can assure you, we pan and we talk, and I'm talking stuff about me. He even talking about I ain't got no teeth, and I say I ain't brushing. That's because I, I don't need teeth to gum. But you guys didn't go there together. You went there separately. That's correct. I've never went nowhere with him. Did you approach him or did he approach you? Back and forth when we there. I done bought them drinks before. On that incident, 
I don't you know, but it doesn't great. matter because you can talk yeah. and approach people. Yeah. That's so not the assault. I mean, over and over I see this guy. He go out more than nearly there. So the issue ain't who said hello or uh, the hell with you or y'all getting put out of office. That's not the issue. The issue is no talking should turn into violent physical contact. That's the issue. I've been talking politics with people for over 30 years in France. So I can't tell you who said what to who first, but it's the same conversation going both ways. That's why people were laughing, and we call it talking stuff. But it was no violence until the violence hit. I don't appreciate a guy initially hitting my face. That's the assault. Let me be part of it. Unleash a series of insults and threats of violence at him, including an I'm going to whoop your A. May Zen approach in a hostile fashion and Murdoch defended himself. The police were called and Mays was asked to leave the establishment. Murdoch was allowed to stay. Is that what happened? No. Um, the police were called by me. And as far as me leaving the establishment, I was the establishment. I was getting away, trying to wait for the police because the owner didn't want the police call there because of, he knew it would be high profile. I assume, and he was getting my phone. I'm like, give me that phone. I'm not gonna not call the police. This is outrageous. And as far as me saying I would piss whatever, even when he hitting my face and making an initial assault, I'm talking to him. You don't touch the councilman without asking the councilman because I ain't even thinking fight. I'm talking, making them laugh. I'm telling you, you touch me, I subpoena you, Neely, Gleason, and that's been the push. I might have and I might not have, but that's irrelevant because he talked about what he'll do to me. It's been going on and back and forth for a while. I don't lie. I tell the truth, I don't know when you're talking stuff, but I know this, I ain't had no inkling for no fighting. I ain't had no inkling to hit nobody. I ain't had no inkling that I would be hit and beat like I would. This is a violent act. And that's the issue. It should not be tolerated. And when you see people in City Hall doing it, you already see a lot of mess. That's why we left the council meeting. But when it rises to the level of physical violence, they was getting ready to. We just left about six or seven months. And then we went to Ruth. Yeah, check the tape. I'm hoping that this club got video in it. That's what I'm asking. Beg your pardon? Derek, go to Roots. I've got his phone number. I talked to him, and he kept talking about um, you was in his face. I say, we was in both each other's face. I say, Derek, don't you remember me saying to him, don't touch me? They remember that. And I'm saying, so that's the issue. Well, both of y'all was talking. That's true. But nobody thought it would turn into a physical assault. Yeah. So moving forward for you, Eric Mays, Councilman Mays, you know, how do you plan to move forward? The criminal report has been filed. Do you plan to press charges? What's next for you? When I gave the police the statements, I thought I was pressing charges. Now they coming after the fact from what I can see. Because when I left, I had gave them, given them my complaint, and I don't know what this Flint Police Department, I don't even know the chief's phone number, but in the, under the other administration, I've been made some calls. I know the politics of the police department. I want to see who it's going to be assigned to, who they talking to, is there a videotape? You press charges against Murdoch. I call 911. This seems to be from Murdoch them something made up in order to defend him and Neely them. I don't know what they're saying. I ain't read it. I ain't heard it. I call 911. It should be a um, recording. That should tell you something about who's saying what. I got away from them, waited for the police outside. DeWine Robinson was in the car with me. It was a party of six of us there. They were sitting by the DJ booth. I'm over at the bar filling out Keno slips. And I'm telling you, I was violently, physically attacked. And talking 
shouldn't turn into physical contact. This was the first one saying we from the street. Don't touch my face. So I think he, this is the last question for me. But in a sense, you know, there's a lot of smack talk. That's correct. Now it's led to violence. Do you think that's something that we should stop or in the city? No, not just administration, but overall the city government as well as city council or other parties. Yeah, it should stop from the council. I should. I react. I react. You're missing it. I react. I react. I don't act. I react. I've been called a racist, misogynist, obtuse by people. I've been given the finger. I react. I've been thrown out repeatedly, illegally. I wish y'all in the media would stop trying to look at what I'm doing and focus on what people are saying and doing to me. Am I the only one seeing people giving me the finger? Am I the only one hearing all this talk from Kate Fields and others? Am I the only one know the rules of the council of why I'm being put out illegally? Look at January 23rd for simply calling a meeting to order. So people is smarter than what you think. I'm not interested in controversy selling well, newspapers. Right now, right now. I'm interested right in the truth. What do you have to say to your constituents? I will not tolerate zero tolerancy of anybody in the city hall, even on Neely staff, violently hitting or attacking folks. Zero policy. I have no track record of hitting or anybody in 30, 40 years. That's what I say to Neely, suspend him, investigate it, discharge him, let him go. I don't trust him. Anybody who resorts to that and then make up lies, that's dangerous. Let's see. It's a felony to file a false police report. That's what I think. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Did you get to the um, not okay, let's get to the show. Man, somebody, yeah. Neely, one of Neely's staff persons jumped me in the bar last night. I'm going to talk to the cows. Come on, keep your hands. Okay, hold on. Look, you ain't have to keep, 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 keep their hands off. Okay. Yeah, so, what's, um, have you talked to Neely since all this? No. I ain't called. I talk to the police. I'm talking to lawyers. I'm talking to the media, and I'm saying this is. So you have a lawyer on the case right now. I got one. I'm hoping I get, mm -hmm. because you gotta take. You gotta stop this mess, and I hope people who making false police reports get prosecuted. I hope it's a video. Yeah. In that club. Charges being brought against you at all? Has anybody reached out to you? I'm hearing it, but I don't know. Nothing formal. I made charges hopefully last night and waiting for them to be processed and waiting to get a case number, see who the detective is. And I don't trust the city attorney's office handling this. Yeah. I don't. Because I've seen regular um, legal opinions about my removal. That's wrong. This is a person that seems to be catering to the mayor, the city attorney. And the city council don't even know what's happening. How can you not get a subpoena served twice to Gleason? And we got 24 million. You can, buy, you can hire six process servers. I ain't buying into the politics, and I ain't buying into the lies and cover-ups that I'm starting to hear here from owners and or uh, people who are sought me. Let's try it. Let's see who gets caught up lying. And let's see if there's any witnesses and or video evidence. And I'm looking at the owner now. I'm listening to what they said. Oh, both of y'all was talking. Well, that's right. But only one physically assaulted somebody twice. That's a problem. Thank you so much, Councilman.